Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to discuss some important MCQs of Kingdom Animalia. The first question is, the ship worm which eats away the wooden planks of the ship is called. Given options are squid, ship worm, silverfish or torido. There are some worms which eat away the wooden planks of ship in the water. And these worms belong to the phylum mollusca. These worms are called torido. So the option D is correct that the torido is the ship worm which eat away the wooden planks of the ship in the water. Question is, Dash is the intermediate host for commercially economical parasite of the animals, the Fasciola hepatica. The Fasciola hepatica is an important parasite of the bovines, sheep and goat and buffaloes. Basically infest the liver of the animals. Immediate host for this Fasciola hepatica is asked in this question. Given options are slug, snail, wobber fly or mosquito. So Fasciola hepatica is basically transmitted by the snail. The given option B is correct. Snail is the animal belonging to the phylum mollusca. It serves as carrier for the fasciola hepatica and life cycle of fasciola hepatica is completed in the snail when the animals eating the grasses when ingest the snail containing the fasciola hepatica are infested and infected with the fasciola hepatica worm. This is also called as liver fluke. Fasciola hepatica is also called as liver fluke. It is highly economical parasite because it damages the liver as well as the health of the animals production of the animals is declined and sometimes the animal may die. Treatment cost of this parasite is the economical challenge to the farmers. Next question is, sponges mostly prefer to live in dash mode of life. Given options are colonial, social, solitary or aggregated. So it should be kept in mind that sponges are the members of phylum porifera. They prefer to live in the colonial farm in the aquatic environment. So the option A is correct that they prefer to live in colonial farm in their mode of life. Next is, dash is true about the porifferans. Porifferans means that the members of the phylum porifera. Given options are one mouth, numerous exits, only one mouth, one exit, numerous mouths are only the exits. As we know the structure of sponges are members of phylum porifera that they bear numerous pores in their body called ostia and one opening is there called osculum from which the water and waste do exit. So there are numerous pores or mouths in the sponges and one exit. So the option C is correct that the sponges have one exit called osculum and numerous mouths called the ostia. Next question is, the collar lining of sponges bear flagellated cells. These cells are basically used to trap the food circulating in the water. During water current system, these cells are specialized to trap the food circulating in the water inside the cavity of the sponges called spongocele. So the given options are pinacocytes, coenocytes, melanocytes or chondrocytes. Basically, there is free space or cavity in the sponges called spongocele and during the water current system in which the water enters through your pores, the ostia into the spongocele or body cavity, there are specialized and internal lined cells. These cells bear flagella to trap the food which is circulating through this water ostular system. These specialized cells are known as coenocytes. So the option B is correct that the coenocytes are the internal lining collar cells. Other cells are pinacocytes. These are the external lining of sponges. Melanocytes are the skin cells present in the human beings which secrete melanin pigment. Chondrocytes are the cells of cartilage. Next question is, the characteristic and distinguishable feature of cnidarians are the phylum Ciliatrata is, given options are bilateral symmetry, silome, metagenesis or filter feeding system. There are other phyla which are also bilateral symmetrical, silomate and have filter feeding system like sponges. The characteristic feature which is distinguishable in the cnidarians or phylum Ciliatrata is the metagenesis. Metagenesis is a specialized characteristic of the cnidarians or phylum Ciliatrata. It is the alternation of generation between the reproductive and nutritive mode of life of the cnidarians. So medusa and polyp, these are basically reproductive and nutritive mode of life of the cnidaria respectively. These are undergoing alternation of generation. This process is called metagenesis. Next is a simple question. Sea cucumber belongs to the phylum dash. Given options are mollusca, annelida, arthropoda or echinodermata. So the sea cucumber and starfish, these belong to the phylum echinodermata. So option D is correct that the sea cucumber belongs to the phylum echinodermata. Next question is the medusa is the stage of life cycle of ovilia specially designed for the purpose of dash. Ovilia is member of phylum Ciliatrata or cnidaria. So as we know that in cnidarians or in cnidarians there are two modes of life cycle the medusa or polyp. Medusa is reproductive mode while polyp is the nutritive mode. Here the given options are nutrition, reproduction, both are excretion. The medusa is basically specialized in the mode of reproduction. Next question is pork has the highest incidence of dash parasites. Pork is the meat of pig and it has the highest incidence of worm. It is zoonotic and it can also infect the human beings. So given options are fasciola hepatica, 
Fischula hepatica is also called as liver flu and is found in the liver of the animals. Schistosoma boeus is the parasite of cattle. Basically, it is found in the blood. Echinococcus granulosus is the parasite which is present in the humans as well as animals and it forms the hydrated cysts in the liver, lungs, even in the brain. Next is the tinea solium. Tinea solium is the intestinal parasite. It's a tapeworm and the incidence of this tinea solium, it is highest in the pork. So the option D is correct. Next question is, Cylindrates are dash, silomates, acylomates, pseudocylomates are none of these. Basically, cylindrates are the cnidarians, they lack the stilom or the body cavity, so these are called acylomates. So, the option B is correct that cylindrates are cnidarians or acylomates. Next is the helminthology is the discipline of biological sciences pertaining to the study of dash. Given options are invertebrates, the invertebrates and vertebrates are studied in the taxonomy, parasites. Parasites are studied in the discipline of biological sciences called parasitology. The protozoans are studied in protozoology. Worms, the study of worms is called helminthology. So the correct option is C. Next question is, the process in which the animals shed their extremity or body part to escape from the predator as a defensive behavior. This process is called dash, autophagy, autotomy, degeneration or metamorphosis. For example, if we see in the results, they throw away or shed their tail and they feed in the hostile. This is basically the defensive behavior or mode of defense in these animals and some other phyla in which they shed away their body parts, the extremities, tail or any other peripheral part to escape from the predator because predators get confused with the shedded part and the animal manages to escape from this predator. This phenomenon is called autotomy. Auto means self and tomy means cutting. So this is the self-cutting of destruction of a body part. So the option B is correct. Autophagy is the lysosomal property in which it eats away or destroys its own body cell. Degeneration is destruction, it's a general term. Metamorphosis is the development process in which the larval stages attain the shape of the adult. Next question is the octopus and cuttlefish belong to the class dash. Given options are mollusca, bivalvia, gastropoda, and cephalopoda. Basically, the octopus and cuttlefish belong to the phylum mollusca in the option A, the mollusca, but here he is asking about the class to which the cuttlefish and octopus belong to. So the mollusca cannot be clicked here. It's incorrect option because it's not a class, it's a phylum. The rest of the options, these are the classes of phylum mollusca, the bivalvia, the gastropoda, and cephalopoda. Bivalvia includes the animals which are two-shelled, gastropoda having large muscular foot, like in snail, and cephalopoda in which foot are attached to the head or a ventral portion of the head. The octopus and cuttlefish in question belong to the class cephalopoda of phylum mollusca. Next question is, near is the spire through dash. Given options are gills, parapodia, spiracles, and papules. All of these are respiratory organs of different phyla. However, the nares aspire through parapodia. So the option parapodia is correct for nares. Next is the development in arthropods is executed by dash to attain the shape of the adults. As we know that the arthropods, when these are hatched or burned, these do not resemble the shape of the adults and these are termed as larva. Then they undergo certain morphological changes right from the fertilization of the ova till the development of the adult. This process is called metamorphosis and in this process they show molting or ecdysis. With these animals shed away their exoskeleton or external skin. So this phenomena is called molting or ecdysis. So here you will see the options mitosis, meiosis, autotomy or ecdysis. So option, option D ecdysis is correct. Mitosis and meiosis are this kind of cell division and autotomy is the process with the animals shed away their own body parts for the purpose of defense not for the purpose of development. These were the some important MCQs related to the Kingdom Animalia. Hope you'll find great knowledge in these MCQs. Thank you.